Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are heading off to Dublin for a few days. We're just dropping the car off at Manchester Airport at the drop and go park and it's really easy. And we're flying from Terminal 3, so we have booked into the airport lounge just for a nice way to start a holiday off. You got all your drinks included, um, your snacks, and because of the time we're flying at, we had the end of the breakfast serving and the lunch. That was a really, really, <laughs> perfect way to start it off we've got plenty of use and plenty of money's worth out of the lounge and um, it's really nice you can just overlook the runway watch the planes coming and going yeah and it's just a relaxing way to start off your holiday yes. so we are just traveling with our 10 kilo hand luggage each this trip and honestly it's amazing how much you can fit in one of those suitcases um, yeah and as you can see we're flying with Ryanair we got really really cheap flights we can't believe how affordable it was to get to Dublin Don't bother with a drink, you won't have time to drink it. It took us 30 minutes to get there. It was so quick. Ooh, this is snazzy. So we're just in Premier Inn. You're probably going to hear Glenn of a wee. Um, <laughs> we've just checked in their computers are down but we managed to get our key card um it's just your standard um premier in actually we had a bath this morning yes we did have a bath in premier this morning now we've got a walk-in shower which is nicer yes we've got oh we've got the like, uh, range oh, nice. thingy yeah. whatever you call it plus your normal one nice 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 oh very fine We've got, we've got any lights in this, on the situation. Here we go, so just your usual little hair dryer. We've got little wardrobe bits. We've already got our extra towels on the bed already. Oh, and um, tea and coffee making facilities, telly, just the usual. And <laughs> a view onto a quadrangle of rooms. <laughs> that is pretty much it is. <laughs> That's The Shack restaurant is literally next door to the Temple Bar and worth a visit. The food was delicious and the staff were lovely. It was oh, stunning. I had lamb shank, Glenn had traditional Irish stew. Look at his face. Happy man. So nice. Good. I loved his bread so much they very kindly gave us the recipe that they used to make the bread in the restaurant so I guess I'm going to be making that when I get back home so here is the famous temple bar what a night we had this is a real tourist trap but guys it is worth a visit the drinks are expensive it's packed but the atmosphere is brilliant. Um, we, spent, we spent a fortune here, but we loved it and we stayed for hours. It was so good. I'm gonna go 
stopping in this bar actually but we passed it and it looked great so we came in and um, we ended up staying for a couple of hours the band was fantastic and we got some food which was delicious as well so yeah another really lovely bar just to stop into if you're passing by Brazen Head is the oldest bar in Ireland and the staff were honestly so lovely. The barman in this little pub, there's three different bars, but the barman here was just fabulous. We really enjoyed it in the Porterhouse. Um, Glenn sampled quite a few of their own brewed beers and he really enjoyed them. And there's just a really relaxed, nice vibe here. The band was brilliant, so I'd strongly recommend popping in this bar as well. to have a visit to the Guinness storehouse which is basically like the factory and um, but this is a self-guided tour amazing value for money we had such a good day and um, we we're probably in for a couple of hours I would say but it showed it told you all about how they make the Guinness you'd have a little tasting um, session to teaching you about smelling it and all the different tastes and the best way to drink it. There was an advertising floor which was great looking back at all the old adverts and memorabilia and um, it finished off and it included a free pint of Guinness up in the Gravity Bar which was just stunning with breathtaking views all across Dublin. Um, yeah, a really, really worthwhile visit. I would strongly recommend going if you get a chance to go.